It goes without saying just how important this summer transfer window is for United. After years of poor recruitment, Solskjaer absolutely has to get it right with new signings this summer to make sure this United squad is capable of genuinely challenging with Liverpool and City. But just as important as bringing new players in is trimming the squad down, getting rid of the players that are at this club at the moment that shouldn't be here anymore. And there are plenty of them. Now, you'll remember back in January, I did a keep sell list that I felt Solskjaer should keep to if he got the job this summer. But things have moved on since then. Solskjaer has been named permanent manager and I've seen a lot more from these players, rightly or wrongly, that makes me want to get rid of them from this club. So what we're gonna do in this video is run through a full keep or sell list. Every single player at the club, do I think they should be here next year? Now, before we get into it, if you are new to United People's TV, make sure you go down there, smash that like button and hit that subscribe button and get involved with the community. But let's get straight into it. Now, the first player on my keep list, and not just because he's our goalkeeper, but David De Gea, man. Yes, he is in terrible form at the moment. And there are quite a few calls now for United to cash in on him. You know, when he was going through the transfer situation previously under Van Howe, he lost his form there as well. What happened after? He continued being the best goalkeeper in the world. And if we let De Gea leave, he will do that wherever he moves to. United need to keep De Gea at the club. We cannot afford to lose one of the only true world-class players in this squad. Yes, his form's terrible. Yes, he should have sorted this contract situation out earlier, but United are just as much at fault for this situation as De Gea. I'd back him, I'd keep him at the club. So I think De Gea is absolutely on the keep list for United this summer. And so is Sergio Romero. He genuinely is the, the best backup goalkeeper that we could ever ask for. Consummate professional, never seems to complain, no matter how, how little football he plays. But next year, we're going to be in the Europa League. So maybe he's going to get a full run out there. But Romero, absolutely keep him there. Lee Grant, though, always felt it was a strange signing. Sort of brought in just so Joel Castro Pereira could go on loan. But just bring Pereira back into the squad, keep him and let Grant go. I don't see a reason why Lee Grant is a United player past this summer. A little shout out and a mention here to Dean Henderson as well, who's not actually on this list because he's away on loan. But he's been fantastic for Sheffield United, got promoted. But I think he should stay there next year, get a full Premier League season under his belt. But he's definitely one to watch for the future is Dean Henderson. Now, quickly, before we move on to the defenders, this video is sponsored by OneFootball. You all know it. It's a fantastic football app. And this summer, there's going to be a hell of a lot of United transfer news. All these keeping or selling players that we're talking about today, but also new signings. You can keep up to date with all of that on the OneFootball app. You can create a personalised United news feed, which gets it all in one place for you. Genuinely a great app and it's free. So to download it, there's a link in the description. Click that and make sure you do. But let's talk about the defenders. First on my keep list from the defence is Victor Lindelof. For me, by some margin, the best centre-back we've got at the club at the moment. But also, desperately needs a leader alongside him. I think Lindelof can be a great centre-back. But he needs a big, powerful partner to play alongside him. I think they will complement each other well. And we don't have that at the club at the moment. I'd also keep Eric Bai at the club. He's mad as a box of frogs. But we saw against Chelsea that he's just levels above Smalling and Jones, and Rojo certainly, in terms of his defending ability. His issue is his injuries. Now because of that injury, which looked quite bad against Chelsea, maybe we can't even sell him this summer, even if Solskjaer wanted to. But by I would keep at the club for at least one more season. But if all the injuries continue, then I would shift him on next year. First on my sell list from the defence is Phil Jones. What could have been? And maybe we're going to be talking about Eric Bailly in the same vein as Phil Jones in a few years' time. A player who's just been perennially injured, shows promise, then gets injured again and repeats the cycle. Phil Jones, we've got to close the book on Phil Jones, man. It's been too long. We need to move on as a club and we can't do that with Phil Jones in the squad. It is as simple as that. Now, someone I think we should keep, I'm surprised I'm saying this, but that's Chris Smalling. I think... He's not good enough to be a starting centre-back for United. Anyway, he's, so, he's so limited as a footballer that any time you ask him to turn and face the opposition and pass it out of defence, he shits his pants and passes it back to David De Gea or out wide to our full-backs. He's not a good modern-day centre-back, but I think he can be a decent third option in this squad. He's a centre-back that I would be OK with coming in 
if we get injuries. I don't want to see him in a starting team anymore, but as a squad defender, that's why I keep Smalling. And also because I don't think we can sell that many defenders in one summer, and I would rather sell Jones ahead of him. But one defender we are absolutely selling this summer has to be Marcus Rojo. Please, the guy is an absolute animal, and in the wrong sense. He's just a, a steaming, firing hothead who's guaranteed to get a yellow every game, and nine times out of ten, he'll get a bloody red card as well. Could have got red against Chelsea when he came off the bench. Rojo is not the sort of aggression we need in this defence. He's not controlled aggression. He's just aggressive in everything. Even Luke Shaw said he's scared of going into tackles with Rojo in training. Rojo shouldn't be at this club anymore. How he got a new contract, I don't know. But he needs to leave. And so does Ashley Young. You know, I feel I've been overly harsh on Young. And used him as a scapegoat. But it is what it is. And Young is certainly not good enough to be starting for United anymore. He's just not in any position. Right back, auxiliary third centre back, right wing. Any position you want to name him. Not good enough. This is the summer where Solskjaer gets ruthless. Where United get ruthless. And that means that even though Ashley Young is a good professional, a decent man, obviously, we need the best football team out on that pitch. And Ashley Young can be no part of that. Just as much as Rojo can't. So both of them need to leave. As for Diogo Dalot, keep him. I think he's got real potential, Dalot. Really do. I think he may need somebody like maybe Juan Pizaka to come in over the top of him and sort of steer him through. I don't think he's got somebody to look up to at the club. A right back that he can try and replicate. There's no model at United that's teaching Delot how to be the perfect right back. So I'm not sure he's good enough to be our first choice at the moment. But certainly, real promise there. And I'd keep him in the squad, just as I would keep Luke Shaw as well. His injuries, fingers crossed, touch wood, are a thing of the past now. Shaw, probably... United's best player this season, certainly one of the best players this season, and certainly one of the most consistent as well. We need a proper left winger there that can help him with the overlaps, because Anthony Martial hasn't done the business there, and anybody else who's played there hasn't either. But same goes for whoever's playing right back. We don't have a right winger to help with that. We need to resolve those two issues, because full back is one of the most important positions in modern football. And I think Luke Shaw is capable of still getting better and better and better. And I would absolutely keep him at the club. I'd also bring back Timothy Fosu Mensa, a kid who showed so much promise with the under-18s and the under-23s before he went on loan. His loan spell hasn't worked out with Fulham, but that's because Fulham got absolutely relegated. Absolutely relegated. They've been so poor this season. But Fosu Mensa, I've got real hope for that he can... Come. Remember when he came into the team under, I think it was Van Howe? I think it was Spurs away where he played, where he was sensational at right back. The kid's got real promise. And a manager like Ole Gunnar Solskjaer could bring the best out of him. So I keep him in the squad. But obviously we already know this. Antonio Valencia is leaving. Solskjaer has confirmed it. Valencia has confirmed it. Right decision. Absolutely same reason why Ashley Young has to leave. I'm sure Valencia is a lovely guy. Just not good enough to play as a fullback for United anymore. So Valencia is leaving and that's the right decision. But others do have to follow for the same reason. Such as Matteo Darmian who showed great promise right at the start of his United career, thinking, Christ, we might have actually replaced Gary Neville, but alas, we hadn't, and we still haven't. A bit like how we haven't ever replaced Ronaldo, we've never replaced Neville at right-back either. Damian needs to leave, go back to Italy, he'll be a decent defender in Serie A for a few years before retiring to a Greek island somewhere, and he'll have a lovely time of it. Just shouldn't be at United anymore. But one player I really want to see come back into the frame next year is Axel Tuanzebe, who has been nothing short of sensational on loan at Aston Villa this year. Did a tweet after the Villa Leeds game, watched him, absolute colossus alongside Tyrone Mings. Villa fans love to Anzebe. And I loved him when he was in the under-18s as our captain, alongside Roshaw and Williams. I think they set a record that still stands with the under-18s, five, six hundred minutes without conceding. Then he was great with the under-23s, real promise. And at a time where United don't have many centre-back options, this is why I want the likes of Rojo and Jones to be leaving the club, because someone like Tuan Zebe should be getting those chances. Not players who just aren't good enough. Tuan Zebe's got a hell of a ceiling, great potential, and he should be in the first team squad next year. Moving on to the midfield, and there's only one player we can talk about straight away, and that's Paul Pogba, and you know he's on my keep list. Paul Pogba is world class. Pogba is the best player we've got in this squad. Yes, 
There are clear attitude problems. That I won't deny. But that's not a reason to get rid of him. And we already have such a tough task reshaping this squad this summer that getting rid of our best player is not the right way to go about it. I think with a good few signings in, getting rid of some of the deadwood, Pogba can show the sort of form that he showed in the first 10 to 12 games of Solskjaer's United career as manager, where he was the in-form player in Europe. That's why he's in the Premier League team of the season. You don't get rid of players who are that good. It is as simple as that. You resolve the problems. And I think problems with Pogba can be resolved with a good summer and building a strong team around him. Because he's far too good for the majority of the players in the squad at the moment. That is uh, obvious. Really, really is. But somebody who I would sell this summer is Juan Mata. Now, Mata came and scored against Chelsea. And Mata, out of all the players in the squad, he's the most lovely of them all. But I'm being very ruthless here when I'm saying that Mata should be leaving. I don't feel his style suits what Solskjaer is trying to build. And maybe I'm wrong in that. Maybe we should keep Mata for another year. But in the same vein as Xander Herrera is having contract issues, Mata's the same. And I just I can't see United agreeing to give him the money that he wants to keep him at the club. It's as simple as that. And I think quite a few of you will disagree with me on this one. And I semi-disagree with myself. But in the squad... And then starting 11 that I see Solskjaer building next season, I can't really see where Mata fits into it. And that is why he's on my sell list. Next player on my keep list is Nemanja Matic. Now, if I was being completely brutal and this was a football manager game, I'd sell Matic this summer and I'd bring in an adequate replacement because I think United can do better than him. But I think, again, in the same vein as why I'm keeping Smalling in defence, I'm keeping Matic in midfield because I think there are more pressing issues and players that need to go ahead of Matic. So I would keep Matic in the squad for one more season, and then I'd shift him on. But I think he can do a job. Just shouldn't be starting every single week. Not anymore, not next season. Next up is Andreas Pereira, a player who I think Solskjaer seems to trust. More so than some of the others, that's for sure. Still question marks over whether he's got the quality to become a proper United midfielder. But I would keep him certainly for one more year, and I would keep Fred as well. Fred, I think, has shown real growth under Solskjaer. It's not been every single week. Other weeks, he's been terrible. Defensively, he's not really that good. But he's an OK midfielder. And again, I would place question marks on Fred for next season. But again, more pressing issues that I would rather get rid of first. And that's why I would keep Fred there. And I think this is the one that hurts me the most to say it. But Ander Herrera, he's on my sell list now. United need to draw a line in the sand when it comes to money at this club and what the players earn. We fucked up massively with Alexis Sanchez and that's caused this Herrera situation. And I want him to stay at the club. But if we give Herrera £150,000, £200,000 a week as a 30-plus year old OK midfielder, we're screwed. Every other player in this squad is going to want that money. We need... So unfortunately, use Herrera as the example that the club is taking the power back from the players. I want to see him stay, but we've created a situation where I think selling Herrera will do more good for United than keeping him. But I certainly would be keeping Scott McTominay, who, uh, out of all the players, he's shown the most potential and growth under Solskjaer. A real big game United player that stepped up where nobody thought he had the quality to. Somebody who's really, really... Sean, I feel, under Solskjaer, and he should be kept in this squad, has shown me that he can properly be that new Darren Fletcher. And I love him for it. I really, really do. So Scott McTominay, absolutely on my keep list. And so is Jesse Lingard. Now, I think a few of you are going to disagree with this one, but this is not to say that I want Lingard in this starting eleven next year. I don't. But Lingard, like McTominay, is a good United lad that we can keep in this squad. Because you need to keep the right personalities, the right attitudes of players in this squad. And Lingard and Matomine are two prime examples of that. We need to create the right dressing room. And Matomine and Lingard are two examples, I think, that other players cannot follow. They're not leaders, but they're the right personalities to have in that dressing room. Certainly over Alexis bloody Sanchez who is absolutely on my sell list. Sanchez, for me, is the single worst signing we've made 
in the post-Fergie era because of the complications it brought with it. He's on 300, 400, I don't know, 500,000 pounds a week with bonuses. And that has created a money-hungry culture that the players have been absorbed into. And it's taken power away from the club too much. And it's a major mistake by Ed Woodward to simply sign Sanchez as a trophy that we've beaten City to this player. City are about to win the league, Woodward. And we're stuffed with Sanchez. It screwed the whole money wage structure at United. And until Sanchez leaves and that money disappears, it's going to be impossible to get rid of that culture. So Sanchez absolutely needs to leave. Now, Romelu Lukaku, he's on my keep list. But I would understand if he was on the sell list of a lot of United fans. I don't think Lukaku would be here past next season if he does stay. But for the same reason I keep Matic, the same reason I keep Smalling, I think we've got bigger problems in just replacing Alexis Sanchez and still bringing in probably another right winger, as well as our centre mid, as well as our centre backs, as well as full backs, that I would keep Lukaku for one more season. I think he's a good goal scorer. I don't think he's a great footballer. But use him and use him in the right way, I think we can use him as an asset next year. I just wouldn't want him at the club past next summer. And I think that's fair to say. I just don't think he's a United player. I don't think he ever will be. Somebody who I do think is a United player is Marcus Rashford. Born and bred. Yes, we've seen a dip in form from Rashford, but we saw a clinical Rashford when Pogba was bang in form. And I think that can happen again next year. He's clearly been playing with niggles towards the end of the season, but the idea of selling Rashford isn't even crossing my mind. I think Rashford's going to be a genuine one-club player. Maybe... Not specifically one club, maybe further down the line he'll leave. But he's going to be at United for a long, long time. Maybe Anthony Martial won't be, but I'd certainly keep Anthony Martial next season. Sign into a new contract, he's pledged his future to the club, but he has got to pull his finger out of his arse. Because like so many other players in this squad, his attitude clearly isn't right. And I'm not pointing the finger at Martial and saying that he's the only one, because there are plenty of others. But Martial needs to buck his game up, just up his game in all respects, because he's got so much potential. It just doesn't seem like he wants to tap into it all too often. And I think Solskjaer can coach that out of him and into a better player. But on talent, there's no way that I would let Martial leave this summer. Absolutely not. So taking a look at that list in full, the entire squad, that's 19 players that I would keep and nine that I would sell. That gives room for a couple of academy players to come back through into the first team squad, for new signings to come in, and that sounds like a squad that can be 23, 25 man. That's what you want. But this is the summer where Solskjaer, and he said it, not me, he's going to be ruthless. And this is a ruthless list. It really, really is. Hurts me to say Herrera, but we need the power back with the club and away from the players. Maybe I could keep Matter for another year. He's a nice guy. But nice guys don't win you titles. The best players win you titles. And that's why I'm getting rid of the likes of Rojo, of Jones, of Darmian. So many players on that list that aren't good enough to be playing for United anymore. It's as simple as that, and that is why they're on my list. But who will be on your list? Let me know who is on your sell list in the comments below. 19 players I'm keeping. How many are you keeping? Really, really interested to see where this debate goes, what players you all want to keep or sell. Now, Thanks for watching the video. If you enjoyed it, make sure you drop a like on the video and subscribe to United People's TV. It's going to be a very, very interesting summer with the United. Who is Solskjaer going to keep?